offensive line. For C, that big three hundred pound wrecking ball in the middle. What a freshman season he's had. Here he comes. Third and 13, Fields does have time, and now takes off, makes a cut, hits a hard hit by Skalski, who knocks him down, two yards short, and Fields is still down. And he took that shot right in the ribs on the right side of his, right in between, the, the, it looked like the rib cage and maybe the back part of his ribs. Again, a, a, big, a big quarterback that can do a lot of damage to a lot of teams when he runs, but 47, a physical tackler, hits him short of that first down and lowers the boom there. Skalski plays with a memory of his dad who told him when he was a young player, son, when you hit him, make him feel you. Now, Skalski was ejected for targeting from the championship game a year ago. Talk about different fuel. That's provided him fuel just in the midsection of fields and was still being looked at. I hope it's just having the wind knocked out of him. I, is Bill, I'd like to ask Bill, I, and again, Bill, the, the, the targeting call that, that Chris just referred to, he did lower his helmet there for the, the uh, crown of his helmet. Uh, yep, they just after, stopped the game for yeah. review. He yeah. does have the crown of the helmet down, yeah. forcible right, contact. Well, I see a targeting call here. Yeah, that's what I, th I thought you might jump in there. You know, two subplots. Fields, is he okay? Can he continue? Finally help to his feet. And what about the fate of Skalski? As you point out, Kirk, he's the defensive quarterback of that front seven already without Turner for the rest of this quarter. Looks like Justin's okay. And that was a big hit. David Alvarez will get on the phone here. I, I, Rick I, I, Libia that, is the Big 12 replay official. That's a classic classic crown of the helmet yeah and it doesn't matter when you use the crown of the helmet it doesn't matter whether you go high whether you no. go midsection no i think sometimes there's confusion on what's the point you just said i think sometimes people get caught up in thinking you have to hit the head like a helmet to helmet that's a completely different foul correct you know what similar, the thing, the thing really, i was going to say simple Similar to what Sean Wade did last year. Uh, if you think about when he hit uh, Trevor Lawrence on that blitz, they kind of turned the game around. It, it, it was the crown of the helmet on Sean Wade. Buckeye fans wondering if it'll be the same thing in reverse. This would be crucial. Skalski is disqualified for a second straight game in this building. Wow. Here's Alvarez with a verdict from the booth. After further review, number 47 was confirmed for targeting. The penalty will be half the distance of the goal and an automatic first down. Number 47 is disqualified. So Skalski is out. That is a huge blow, just as it was last year for Ohio State. The game-changing disqualification of Wade got Lawrence going. Field seems to be okay. Very little experience, Kirk, behind him at quarterback. Yeah, I was going to say, well, if you go back to Skowski, Jake Venables, of course, as you know, Chris, is, is out. You know, he, he got injured at Virginia Tech. Kane Patterson now, a, a young player who's not played a ton of football, number 17, will, will come in more than likely for James Skowski. So they do not have a lot of depth, and they lose their leader of that front. So you got your leader in Nolan Turner in the back end, and there's Kane Patterson now who's a very athletic and very talented but very inexperienced linebacker who steps in for the glue. The guy that, that, that keeps the front seven together.